in the 1950s and the 1960s, the US and the US embarked on what we fondly recall as the great space race, with the US ultimately being declared the winner when Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969. And whilst our destination this afternoon is not the moon, the prize of ownership of number 13 Moffat Street, Brighton, equally alluring and living there, will be equally out of this world. Andrew North is my name, Sam Wormsley is the name of our owner's lead agent. Together we are delighted and excited about helping you get your name on the title as the new owner of number 13 Moffat Street, Brighton. It is more formally described as being an estate in fee simple, some 556 square metres more or less. We sell an offer on lot number one of title plan 387871R, all contained and all described in certificate of title volume 4779, folio 613. There are no changes to the list of chattels distributed throughout the marketing campaign. I remind you, though, the mirror adorning the pool does stay with the property. Settlement date anywhere from 60 to 90 days from our auction date this afternoon. When you bid, I accept your bids under the following rules and guidelines. Uh, yes, I am selling subject to a reserve price. Yes, your job as the bidders is to get the price up to that reserve price. And yes, if you're able to do so, I will sell the property to whoever is the highest bidder whose bid I choose to accept. I'm going to nominate the incremental sum to which we move forward today. I do have the right to refuse any of your bids. My owners have given me and only me instructions to bid on their behalf if required. That is referred to as their right to engage in vendor bidding with my only obligation surrounding it, full and complete disclosure, and I cannot exercise it on more than two occasions. If we have a disputed bid, I'll just take bidding back to the last undisputed bid, then resume the auction from there. Our successful purchaser today, you'll be found when this contract comes to my palm like so, I sell to one lucky party, then I start apologising profusely to everyone else who I have to send back out into the marketplace, trying to find something like this again that's going to be tough. To our successful purchaser, well it's all upsides and smiles for you, but by your bidding actions you are saying to us that you'll then sign the contract uh, and pay to us a deposit representing 10% of the purchase price. I remind you again when the contract comes to Palm, bidding will not be reopened, all risk transferred to you, the new purchaser. Of course there are no calling down rights in Victoria at auction, and if I'm required to do so, I can sign the contract as auctioneer on behalf of the purchaser. Buyers clear and concise, but if you have a question, now would be an appropriate time. Mr Auctioneer, yes, sir. you mentioned that the land was 556 square metres. Um, I've looked at a copy of the title and it's a very illegible. Um, can you tell me how you arrived at that figure? Well, I relied on it from the marketing material from the listing agent. Uh, so that's what I've relied upon, sir. So I'm comfortable you bidding based on that. We, we reckon we've got it right, so good luck with you today, bidding today. Any other questions, ladies yes, and gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yes. Um, I'm in a bit of a situation. Um, my husband and I are moving here from interstate. Yes. Um, look, we really like the property, but his plane has been um, delayed this morning, and I'm here by myself, not sure what to do. Can you help me? Absolutely. Great, thank you. No problems. Very simple. You're just bidding, though, on your, on your own personal account, so we'll get you to sign the contract in your name and or nominee, if that's OK with you, OK? You're comfortable paying the 10% deposit if you're successful, Beautiful. All right, well, you know what you're doing. Brilliant. Any further questions? <coughs> well, I mentioned space race at the beginning of this presentation because I reckon history is repeating itself once again here in Melbourne, Australia, with never there being a greater need and desire for space. And so I stand here pretty excited about selling to you superb space. Not good, but great space. And it's beautifully landscaped. It will come as no surprise to any of you to hear that indeed our current owner is indeed a landscape architect. It's been his pride and joy, his passion for the last 20 years creating what you see today. And I want you also to understand that your space extends considerably beyond your immediate boundaries as you gain automatic access and entry into this vibrant Brighton community. A short stroll up the road where we've got the golden sands of the beach, and while some of you might be thinking, why is he talking about beaches at this time of the year? Well, it's at this time of the year that honest homes, homes with a huge amount of self-esteem, present themselves to the market. They're not hiding behind the makeup or the camouflage of those summer months. They're putting it all out for you to see, ladies and gentlemen, all of their inadequacies, but I think you'll agree, pretty hard to find at 13 Moffat Street. Australia Women's Weekly. 
2015. Their catchphrase for the year is balance. Don't ask me how I know, but it's balance. <laughs> and this afternoon we present to you exemplary balance. As you enter the property, the proportions of, uh, of accommodation upstairs with living below in perfect balance. The indoor outdoor flow, the balance between, they almost sing to each other, not literally, that would become a tad annoying, but they do operate in complete <laughs> harmony. The amenities, the local schools, offering a wonderful work-life balance to you. And whilst the close proximity of the, bar, of the bar and winery at Church Street may at times see you lose your balance, the affordable taxi fare home will barely put a dent in your bank, bank balance. I mentioned at the start of my presentation that the mirror adorning the pool and spa facility stays with the property. If any of you during the inspections got a chance to have a look at that and saw you as the new owner. Well, in a moment's time, I ask you to reveal yourself. I too spoke to the mirror. I said, mirror, mirror on the wall. Do I have a bidder at 13 Moffat Street at all? The answer, yes, Andrew, and plenty of them. Buyers, the time your moment to shine. Would somebody like to call me out an opening bidder offer? A couple of questions, sir, about the title. Would you like to have a go first? Mm. Mr. Auctioneer, yes, sir. I will bid two million two hundred and fifty thousand if you don't vend or bid against me. I would prefer not to vend or bid against you, sir, but I can't make that promise. If nobody else wants to enter on the, uh, uh, at this occasion, I can't make that commitment. But are you happy to place your bid at two and a quarter, sir? Two million two hundred and fifty. Two million five hundred. Two point five, even better now. Two point five. Pick your button, sir. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand now. Two point six to bed now. At two million six hundred thousand dollars, where do we go next? Another hundred, sir. No, no, fifty. Fifty, okay. Six fifty. Fifty. Six fifty and seven. I've got now at two point seven down the centre against you, two sir. Two million and seven hundred and fifty. Seven fifty on your own, doing it beautifully, ma'am. At two million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars at two point seven five oh fifties. I continue to take. Do we go there? He says no, not at the moment. At 2750, then for the first, the second, the third time I caught away at 2750. Sir, I'd prefer not to place a vendor bid. You asked me the question, what about 25 to kick me forward? Would that help? 2750, with nobody's prepared to engage at this stage, I'm still below the level I can sell. I'll place a bid against you, ma'am, at 2775. Would you come back? Is that my bid? No, it's my bid. It's a vendor's bid. The owners are staying. They're happy to stay. The owners of the property at two million seven seventy-five. If you come back at two point eight, I'll put you back on top. Two point eight. She obliges. Twenty-five and twenty-five at eight and a quarter now. At eight twenty-five, ma'am. I'm sorry, I put you back in second place at two at two eight twenty-five. Would you go to fifty now? Mr. Eight Auctioneer. 50? Yes, Mr. sir. If I bid two million eight hundred and forty-five thousand, will you put it on the market? Why don't you bid me the bid, sir? And we'll see what happens. Two million eight hundred and forty-five thousand. Thank you, sir. Two million eight hundred and forty-five. Twenty-five. Sell that level, big your pardon. Twenty-five. Twenty-five at eight seventy to bid now. At eight seventy, I've got now. At two million eight hundred seventy thousand, it's your turn, sir. You haven't spent a cent yet now. At two eight seventy, do we say another twenty-five, sir? First time down the centre. Second time. Third time calling it away. If you don't bid, you don't. You can't buy. Simple and easy as that. The bids with you at uh, 2875. Two, 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 Happy the bids, sir? Good. Happy uh, 875, I've got now. Somebody give me 10 to move me forward. One more. Yeah, 2 million 870. 870, 870 and 10 at 880 the bid now. At 2880, we've got now. At 880 there. At 880 is the bid there. It's your turn, sir. Eyes up. 880. 880 over here. At 2 million 880,000 dollars for the first second. Third time. 5,000. Five. Welcome. Good timing, ma'am. At, at 95 the bid. 85? 85 the bid now. At 85 we've got now, sir. It's your turn. Five more. At 90 is it, sir? 85 I've got here. 2885. Only two ways to nod your head, sir. You've chosen the wrong way if you want to buy. 2,885,000 for the first, second, third time calling away. I'm taking fives. Third final call then at 2,885. Are we done, silent and finished? Well, the bids with you, ma'am, at 2,885,000 dollars. I don't have a vendor in the room. I'm below my selling instructions. Would somebody give me another five to nudge me forward? Mr. Auctioneer, yes, your, quote, your quote was well below this figure. 
What, I mean, what is what is going on? Why is it not, not on the market? I'm quoted nothing, sir. I understand the agents quoting return of 2.750 to $3 million. We're still below that number, sir. If you'd like to take me a little closer to the higher end of the quote, I can see what I can do. $25,000. $25,000 is the bid now. $25,000 on top of the 885, takes me to 19. 19 the bid now, $2,910,000 with the gentleman in front now. At 2910, the bid away now. At 2910, I called it then three simple times, ma'am. Do we come back with another five or fight fire with 25s? First time now at 19. Second time, what's your bid, sir? Five. 915. Five. 915 and 20 bid down there. 925, I've got 25 now. 925 is the bid there. 925 at 2925 and fives I take now. 2,915,000. Beg your pardon? 2,915,000. 2,915,000. Already got 915, sir. 2,935,000. 935 to bid now at 935. At 2,935. 2,935 with the gentleman in the hat. First time now at 2,935. Second. Third time calling away. 2,5. 935. What? 2,5. 935, 937 and a half. 947.5. And 2,5 and 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 I'll take from you, sir. 947 and a half, 950 to bid now. 950, are we back Two. in tens? Two thousand. Two, 952. Two and a half. 954 and a half. 54 and a half. 59 and a half. Is that, sir? Five? 59 and a half. 959 and a half at the rear. First time calling it away at 2,959 and a half. Second, third time. Two. 61 and a half. 61 and a half. Welcome back. 61, tough to pick the strategy today. 61 and a half. Husband will be happy at the moment though, ma'am. First time now. Two nine sixty one and a half second. Two and a half. Sixty four. One. Sixty five. <coughs> and what's the bid, sir? Five thousand. Yes. Seventy. Seventy the bid at the rear. Seventy we have now. Two million nine seventy. First time at two million nine seventy. Second time. Third time, pull it away at 2,970. Well, sir, the question you asked before, are we on the market and selling? The answer is yes, we are. At 2,970,000, if I see no bit of an offer, I sell it away. Now's your time to shine, buyers. We play for the keys, we play for keeps. If you've been waiting for that announcement, please bid, otherwise I sell. First time now. Second time now, 2,970 for the third. Final call. Ma'am, it's on the market, it's going to be sold. You said you wanted help, I need to help you now, because I'm going to sell it. Not to you, to him. You're out there. Out in front. Out, sir. Three million. Three million dollars. Not out. Three million dollars a bit in there. Even. Looks like you're on the contract. Easy to work out the deposit. But, but I'm happy for you to stuff that up, sir. At three million dollars. <laughs> Ten more on top, maybe, sir. You slice it right in the way. Five thousand. Five, okay. Meet you, meet you halfway. At three million and five, three double oh five, sir. Of course I give you the same opportunity to respond. It's only five. You won't even notice the extra five of this legal, sir. At three million and five, three double oh five. It is on the market. It's going to be sold first, second, third time. I call it away quickly, buyers. At three double oh five, does it go? I sell it. You're out, sir. Out, ma'am. Out. It goes. It goes. Sold. Sir. <laughs> Congratulations to you, sir. You'll love living on this particular property. Commiserations, as always, to my individuals. I appreciate so much working alongside with you. To everyone else in attendance, thank you for your time and attendance. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Good day. Way to go,